I know you want to make it work for the kids, mm -hmm. and I am all for that, 100%. My concern is you guys argue so much, and when they have to see it, it, it breaks my heart. Because for me, that was the most troubling thing when my parents would argue. Mm -hmm. It killed me. Whether you guys decide to stay and make it work or not is no one else's decision, but doing nothing is not the answer. No, I get I that, and I think we're at that point where we're kind of trying to figure out what route we're gonna go. I have a very hard time communicating with him. He can push my buttons and I can snap. I'd rather not even talk to him. Okay, but that's not the answer, though, because I it's know. still festering. But and the boys and the kids are learning feel that. that. And then oh, they see com it. completely. For pretty much the last eight years, our relationship has been hot and cold, good and bad, up and down. It's been draining. But we have two beautiful kids, and we have to learn how to communicate because we need to raise them well. And I don't know. I, um, I love her, but I don't know if we're right for each other. None of you guys are really willing to bend. There is no bending. There's I'm both for you guys. Okay, it's his world. I and bend we live so much, I'm about no, to don't. break. No, you don't. Okay. No, you Go don't. Ahead. He does not treat me the way a woman should be treated. He's very disrespectful. Do you think he buys me things ever? Ever. Okay. Ever. We're gonna go forever. With I don't this. have access to funds Bree? like that. I don't necessarily agree with a lot of the things Bree says or thinks. I always tell my kids the most important decision they'll ever make is who they spend the rest of their life with. It's not what house they're gonna buy or what car they're gonna buy, it's, it's who they're with. And I wanna make sure Terrell and Bree feel that way about each other and that they've made the right decision. Because if not, uh, I think they're just going to be frustrated through life and, and it's going to spill over to the rest of their family. It's almost like Brie comes from like a self-entitlement position. I don't and think everything should be given to me, but I think that we should be equal enough and it shouldn't be like I'm your child be. and you, you're handing me things. I'm if I want to go out and buy something, whether Which... it be a $300 pair of shoes or a $3,000 bag or a $30, I don't know, meal, I should be able to do that. And okay. I shouldn't have to ask you uh, permission uh, to do things. I don't know, Brie. Okay. How do you think that feels? Are you allergic to, to working? Oh, so now you want me to work? I've always wanted you to work. Oh. And there's many ways to contribute. Which is what? There's other ways. If it's not financially, there's other ways. And that's what you've and always I, said. I have a job. I think I'm a mother. OK, I understand that. I understand that. But I'm a father as well. So I'm with the way, boys all the time. How is that not contributing? It's hard seeing my brother going through what he's going through, and I feel for him. And I don't know what role I'm supposed to take as his brother, but I want to make sure he knows that I'm here for him. You guys got to compromise. Boy, I'm telling you, the boys see that. And they then what's that. gonna happen? They're married, and they're gonna do the same thing. Do you, do you want and them as living a grandparent, like that? You know what to no, do if I don't want my sons turning out to be like him. Hmm.